everyone, welcome to iSips Arcade. I am your host iSip, and today I'm going to be doing a mobile review from my cell phone. Um, I'm playing a game on my cell phone. Well, I'm playing it on my cell phone attached to my TV, and unfortunately, I have to use my old cell phone to take the video as I don't have my old camera anymore. So, the video quality is probably not going to be the best, but hopefully, it'll still be good enough for you to. Uh, see and maybe enjoy, you know. Um, I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing um, Godzilla Smash 3, and sorry about that. Unfortunately, that happens from time to time. My cord is not the greatest, and it will dip out. But it's called Godzilla Smash 3, and it's actually a pretty cool game. It was. It's based. Well, yeah, it's it's based on the movie that just came out in 2014, Godzilla or you know Gojira, if you are from. Japan, or you just refuse to acknowledge the English given name, which is fine. I'm good with that too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I, you can see, I've already gotten up to to, to board 20. I'm going to take it back a bit. Um, let's go to board eight. And well, um, there are different. There are different um, requirements for a lot of the boards. Some of them you have a move limit like this, which means you have to finish the, the board in a certain amount of moves. There are some boards where you have a time limit, which I hate that, where you have only a certain amount of time to finish the, the board. And uh, some where you've got these uh, dead blocks that will... Uh, basically just the garbage blocks just messing up your flow this is for those who don't know we'll find out right now this is a puzzle game and uh, a really fun puzzle game to be honest with you basically you've got different icons and you have to connect at least three in a row or three connected and uh, Godzilla will do various moves and Godzilla is really dark Give me a second to try to brighten this up. All right, so uh, yeah. Now you've got um, again connecting different uh, different um, icons together of various kinds will grant you different moves. If you all the all the Godzilla icons, I should say. They will do different moves. They will call God, cause Godzilla to react in certain ways. If you do the heart icons, they will give uh, Godzilla back some health, which he's going to need because uh, these bastards sometimes take off a lot of health. And um, then you've got the sort of radioactive biohazard looking sign there. The blue, the light blue icons or teal. I'm not sure how that's coming out on. They're lightish blue. And when you connect those, they fill up Godzilla's um, radioactive blast breath meter. So let's get on with it. Okay, yes, we got, we got it. So, um, uh, this is one of the tutorial boards, letting you know. Uh, you can see up in the, oh, you can't see up in the corner. Up in the corner, above the helicopters, let's see if I can tilt this up just a wee bit. There we go, so you can get the whole screen. Um, you can see in, in the corner there is a number next to two dots. That is my move limit. Then you've got two other icons which are powers that can be activated once you purchase them in the store. Uh, yes, this is one of those games that has those you're going to have to purchase game, purchase stuff to beat it. I refuse to do that. So, yes. It's still a fun game though. So uh, we're going to go ahead and connect some tiles. Now you see the, the rest of the icons have gone dark because I um, put my finger on one of the yellow... Oh, come on! One of the yellow um, icons. So you can see, you trace your finger along, and when you let go, they will zap each other, and then Godzilla will do something. Now you'll notice that there are numbers, hopefully you can see it, numbers above the helicopters. 
uh, right ne but next to the life bar for the helicopters. What those represent is how many turns it takes for that enemy to attack. So let's go ahead and uh, don't really have to waste that many on that. Okay, let's see. Now, when you chain together um, enough icons together, I believe the eight of them in a string, you will get a blast icon. What happens is once once you make um, a bunch of tiles disappear, and one of them happens to be the blast icon, it will it will uh, cause a shockwave to go side to side or up and down and take out whatever blocks are there. Now. If there happens to be another blast icon in the path, in the path, thank you, then what happens is it will activate that blast icon. So uh, let's go ahead and take out Now you notice Godzilla attacked two enemies at one time instead of one. When you activate a blast icon, it distributes the damage between the two of them. Most of the damage will go to the one you're focused on. You can change the focus, by the way. And uh, the other, the, the, a little bit of the damage will go to the um, other enemy. Now if you go to get rid of enough um, tiles with blast icons, you can obliterate everything on the board. So let's go ahead and do that because we really can't do very much. Crap. And I'm going to die if I don't. Uh... Let's go ahead and get some health back up. So we don't really have much choice. Blast Icon 1, Blast Icon 2. And that's pretty much the whole game. It's just. It, the visuals are really good. I mean, they are kind of repetitive, but they are really good. Uh, if eventually, you do get boss fights with the Mutos. And, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to try to clear this board. I forgot I have a, a move limit. So, uh, I'd better pick it up. Let's see. I don't want to waste more tiles than I have to. The uh, blue tiles are the weakest tiles. The yellow tiles, I think, are the second strongest, and the strongest tiles are the orange ones. So, oh, and now there's a building I'm attacking. So now what, what you're doing is you're attacking the building. Every time you attack the building, um, it will drop garbage bricks on your, on your, uh, whatchamacallit, on your screen. And the only way to get rid of those, there's two ways to do it. You can either um, activate a blast, uh, what do you call it? A blast brick right next to it, like, like I just did, or you can get the bricks all the way to the bottom of the screen and they will automatically disappear once they get there. Um, otherwise, they just block your attacks. So let's see, what do I want to do? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the, the, the graphics better. The graphics are really good. Between the camera I'm using and the fact that I'm doing it off cam, it's not really capturing the detail. I'm sorry about that. This is a really awesome game. And if I could capture the footage actually on my phone while I was doing this, I'd be able to um, record the audio somewhere else and it'd just be awesome. But I'm pretty sure there's a video of it somewhere if you want to get a better look at the visuals. I'm doing my best though. And uh, I'm in trouble here. Because I've got three tanks and if they get a chance to shoot at me twice, I'm going to be terminated. Nope. Which way do I want to go? This way, this way, this way. 
this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And it's really about being smart with your, um, with your, oh shoot. I'm going to be smacked hard in a second. Um, for the most part, it's just being smart with your, um, wow, with your, your puzzle skills to beat the, uh, the board. Alright, now I'm going to use my atomic breath. Let's focus on him because it'll show better. And your atomic breath does not use up a turn, so if you have it, use it. So, all in all, it's a pretty fun game. I really enjoy it. Um, oh, I just beat the board. And then you get a bonus for every... Well, I'll just let this play out first. So you get a bonus for every blast tile you have. So it's, like I said, this is pretty cool, this is pretty fun. Um, the Mutos are in this, so you don't just fight the army, you do fight the Mutos. And unfortunately, there are ads in this stinking thing. Because, you know, it, it, it was free. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it. This, that's my review. The, well, that's, that's me playing the game when it stays on. Come on, come back on. Come on, you can do it. And I need to get a new a new cord because this one it just isn't uh Okay. So yeah. So you've got a bunch of different cities again with different um there are different objectives, you know. Do it in a certain amount of turns. Excuse me. Do it before the time runs out. A lot of them are just kill everything and don't die and then you've got the muto stages which you can see right there um and uh yeah so that's pretty much it um i don't think there's anything else i can say i do love this game i give it a thumbs up it's free if it well i don't know if you can still find it because i can't find it anymore but if you can find it you know, download it, if, especially if you like puzzle games, if you like Godzilla Hell. I mean, that's a great combination right there, and who would have thunk it? But it's actually really fun. It really is. I I just can't explain just how great this game is. So um, I'm Islip, and uh, I'm done.